Uh, right. Hmm. Just when he thought it was safe to walk through my dungeons. He's back! Hey, bro. He he. It's been a long time since no see no, bro. Ammo, is that you? What are you doing? What are you doing in that outfit? I was finally able to get it. Super strength, just like you, bro. It feels good. Being one of your gear, Krillian, um, did this for me. Anyway, just leave that gear and Miss Ellie for me. Resistance is useless. Or, well, as the Borg would say, resistance is futile. I'm much too powerful for you now. What are you saying, Hammer? Hammer time! What? You're not handing them over? I see you. Then I'll just have to force you. Well, you can try, dude. Oh, uh, yeah, you're not exactly a pussy, either. And take the girl and the gear from you. Stop it, Hammer! Hammer time! Even you, champ, won't win against me now. Here I come! <laughs> Um, I'm gonna whip his ass on the no move. Do not underestimate him just because. Right. I wonder if he's got an. No. Got time for you, boy. Mm. Oh, that's not good. Hell no. Interesting. Mm. Be aware of that talent I would do. Fucking hell, it would be Joe, wouldn't it? Mm. Right, I'm gonna have to talk to you, boy. going to constantly keep fucking uh, changing. We've got time for you. True. Oh. Different. Um. Right. Fuck this. Oh no, son of a bitch. Alright, we'll do. I'd be feeling really bad. I don't care. You're going down, boy. No? Right. Should we uh, get out of here? Um, what was he? Schizophrenic or something? 
Yeah. Oh. that trader card enables you to get rare items. Hey, hey, that's my bro, far too strong. Even for me when I thought so I finally got powerful enough to beat you two. Hammer. Champ, promise me you'll go back to Norton one day. You are next in line to be the Kaiser. You knew. Don't underestimate the power of my information network, but it's no use now, I, for a bit player like me, this is probably the end I deserve. Come on! Hammer never, I mean Hammer disappeared into the chasm with a look of satisfaction. Was he happy because he had been able to attain it? His brief moment of power. And a smile. Was that the look of joy from attaining power? Or was it the look of relief from the pain that was brought upon him by the mutation? <clears throat> Ultimately, we had no other choice but to defeat our friend Hammer for the sake of our own survival. Was there any other way around it? I've never felt that fighting was so futile till now. Ellie cried continuously. She hated herself for not having the power to be able to do anything to help him. Yeah, because um, the only thing she's good for is making the tea. When I saw her like that, I couldn't help thinking I can no longer allow her to fight like this. We returned to Igna's feeling that this had become much more we could, than we could bear. Did you actually return to Ignis? Alright. What do you want, Ramses? You. If you didn't exist, I. That's why I must get rid of you. Only then will I be able to beat him. What do you think you're doing, Ramses? That's absurd. Do you think you can neutralize my power? Of course he can. He was made to be able to do so. Quillian? Surely you're not on their side now? Oh really now? I don't care about a group of old geezers who are so obsessed with clinging on to their dear little lives that they had to resort to turning themselves into data on the Soul 9000 in order to survive. That's not why your existence obstructs me from reaching my goal. That's all. Haven't you been working on for humanity's future? For humans to live longer? That is why I assisted you. Yes, that's right. I tried to lead the people in my own way. That hasn't changed in the least. Brilliant. What's going to you? <laughs> Kill him, Ramses. Do it now. So Cain is dead. Yes. The final feat for one bond within everlasting flesh. If only he had just accepted our logical ideals too. A fitting end for someone who had become dominated by needless flesh. Excellent work, Krillin. Now there is nothing that can stand in the way of us accomplishing our objective. 
the animal relics have been awakened and have aligned their respective animus. Dan, Joseph, Gad, each have each been aligned with a surface dweller as their animus. By the way, Dan, Joseph, and I think Gad were um, three of the 12 tribes of Israel. Hugus, Asher, Ramses, Zerbalum, Grillians, Judah, Sophia, Dinah, Reuben, Simeon, Levi, and Isaiah, Char, were already aligned 500 years ago. And finally, Graves, Natal, all of the animal relics have now been activated. The identity of the persona mask of the mother has also become clear. The time has come. Now is the time to open the door to God's domain, to attain the fleshly body and wisdom of God. The time of the true awakening to carry us to the new horizon. Yes, the time of the gospel has come. Now, humans, extol the awakening of God. Oh yeah. What's a big fucking hand going to? Oh, I was going to say a big hand comes along and turns it. Suddenly the howling erupted, even the people who had not mutated were being turned into worlds. They howled like, out like war cries, as if to call out to something. Please, whoever you are. That was because Ramses had been manipulated into assassinating the Emperor. Now with nothing else holding them back, the Ministry had put into use the Geisha Key effect of which was to alter those people who had been destined by God. Or to be turned into, um, you know what? Those people destined by God, regardless of whether they were surface dwellers, Solarians began to change shape one after the other. The howling was the, was the people who had filled the earth, calling out to God. Once humans had filled the earth, God will awaken from his long sleep, an awakening of Mahon, Mahanon, the paradise in the sky will soon follow, the true meaning of what the ministry had spoken, the true nature of that legend was at last beginning to be realised. This is what they meant when they said once humans had filled the earth, eventually Mahanon, the resting place of God, woke from his long slumber, began to rise almost as if responding to the call of the people. He appeared before us in all his majestic glory. Mm. Hi! So how's everyone been in the last 10,000 years? Have you missed me? I missed you! Looks like something from the abyss. Aye, big fucking spaceship waking up. Who disturbs my slumber? Here, yeah, ignore the appearance which has um, rock on the outside. Um, it's actually a spaceship. Take off the water. Solaris uh, Gazelle Ministry sent a massive force there to obtain God and his wisdom. But by now neither the nation of Solaris nor the organization known as Gepler existed anymore. 
The only thing that was left there was an innumerable accumulation of weapons. Be back in a second.